What a beautiful day to make homemade pizza. Kids, kids, don't play with the food. Let's finish that pizza. Really good, children. And what are you going to put on it? Tomato, cheese, and broccoli. Ah, molto delicia e salatari. Pizza, as Groovy likes it. Time to eat. Mmm, that smells good. The pizza must be divided into equal parts. To do this, we need to know how many of us are going to be eating. So, how many? Groovy, Groovy, and Groovy. <laughs> You've got some nerve, Groovy. It won't be all for you. There are more guests. Pops, Groovy, and Phoebe. All right, Phoebe, there are three guests. So we have to cut the pizza into how many slices? That's it, three slices. <laughs> I'm afraid we have an unexpected guest. How many slices do we have to divide the pizza into now? Exactly, Phoebe. In four quarters or four fractions. Pops, can you explain to them what fractions are? If Groovy gets his own pizza, he'll eat a whole pizza. But if he shares it with the others, they'll eat a split pizza. If you share it with Phoebe alone, you'll each get half. If you also share it with Pops, there are three to split, so you'll each get a third of the pizza. Whereas if the cat also wants to eat, he will share it with three diners, and therefore each will eat a quarter of the pizza. Did you get that, kids? Wait a minute, Phoebe. The oregano is missing. And a pizza without oregano is like a beach day without sun. We need it. Groovy, can you get it for us? Oops! The oregano is gone. Mmm, and so is the cat. Come on, kitten. Be a good boy and give the oregano back to the kids. They're looking forward to eating the pizza. Then we'll continue playing. We promise. Please. Good cat. Good cat. Oh, poor thing. He's going to fall. Children, something must be done. Quickly. Groovy, can you help him? Children, what should Groovy transform into to rescue the cat? A watering can? A ball? Or a fire truck? Yes, into a fire truck. Great. You're naughty. So they can say that cats aren't affectionate. What about the missing piece, Groovy? Um, let's cut the pizza. Let's see, how many of us are eating then? Phoebe, Kitten, Groovy, Pops, and... Well, well, we'll be getting a lot of guests. Mom and Dad. Well, since there are six of us, how many slices do we have to break the pizza into, kids? Yes, exactly, in six slices. We'll each eat one-sixth of the pizza. Doesn't pizza taste better when we share it? Oh, mamma mia! 
This pizza is so good. <laughs> Groovy, it won't work. But Phoebe, what are you eating? Is that a donut? Where did you get it from? Hmm, let's see. What's inside your lunchbox? I can tell that your parents haven't had time to help you to prepare it. It's okay, Phoebe. Don't worry. It's normal that you have brought the food that you like the most. But these things aren't healthy at all. And Groovy, what are you carrying in yours? Okay, let's learn to prepare a healthy lunchbox with a game. Look, I've brought a board with many foods. Will you be able to distinguish which ones are good and which ones are bad? And place them in the right box? Sure. Okay, prove it. Remember healthy food at the left box and junk food at the right one. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Wow, so fast. But let's check. Kids, what do you think? Is everything in the right box? I think you have simply put in one box the things that you like and in the other and the things that you hate to eat. That wasn't the idea. Groovy, why don't you help her? Groovy, that's not a real broccoli. <laughs> you have to reorder them, not eat them. <laughs> Groovy doesn't like chocolate bar at all. They are totally unhealthy. Exactly, Phoebe. Lollipops aren't healthy. Great, Pops. The unsweetened yogurts are very good. What else is in the wrong box, kids? I know you can do it. Well done, Groovy. <laughs> Phoebe doesn't like the texture of the bananas. But if we blend it, she just loves it, right? Blend the fruit is a great tip to make kids love them. It's delicious. So, is everything right now? Really good, Pops. At home, we spend lots of Sundays cooking healthy desserts as cookies and cupcakes to take them to school. But the ones we bought, unhealthy. How would it be then? Healthy food. Watermelon, banana, and other fruits. Carrots, broccoli, zucchini, and all the vegetables and also natural yogurt and other dairy products such as milk and cheese. And junk food, cookies, chocolate bars, ice creams that have too much sugar and fat, also lollipops, chips or french fries, and about soft drinks. Even light ones are unhealthy. Better to avoid them. So what would you put inside your lunchbox then? Looks delicious, your wholemeal sandwich. But Phoebe, instead of juice, it's better to eat the whole fruit. That's how it keeps all the properties to make you super strong. Very good. Groovy is a great example for all the kids. He just loves healthy food. Letting kids make their own lunchbox, choosing between different healthy foods as a game, is the best trick to be sure they'll eat all of it. Mmm, how delicious healthy food is. <laughs> Especially if you share them with your friends. What a beautiful day to enjoy breakfast. All right, kids, you ate it all. Now it's time to brush your teeth. Phoebe. You can play with the ball later. Now you have to brush your teeth. It's very important to keep them clean. Right, Pops? <laughs> to 
have clean and healthy teeth, you have to brush your teeth after every meal. In other words, you have to brush your teeth after breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Children, what have you just done? Indeed, you had breakfast. So what's next? No, Groovy, no yoga. After breakfast, we have to brush our teeth. Come on, what are you waiting for? All right, kids, let's brush our teeth. What do we need first? That's right, Phoebe, a toothbrush. And the second thing we need? <laughs> Groovy, what a crazy idea. Soap is for hands. Teeth are washed with toothpaste. That's better. Slow down, slow down, Groovy. You don't need so much. Wait a minute. Are you sure you know how to brush your teeth? What if Pops helps us to see how it's done? Please, little gentleman, smile. You should brush your teeth and gums in circles gently, just like Pops does. You don't only have to brush the teeth that are in sight, but also those that are more hidden, ahead and behind, all of them. Take your time. Two minutes is recommended. Understood? After you have brushed them all, rinse your mouth. Let's see, Groovy. Groovy, you have the cleanest teeth in the whole galaxy. Phoebe, it's your turn. Practice what we've learned today. Phoebe, not so fast. Those teeth are still dirty. You haven't washed them enough. They're full of bacteria. You think they're clean because we can't see the bacteria with the naked eye. But I assure you, your teeth are full of the little monsters. Groovy, will you help me show them? <laughs> Children, what should Groovy transform into to see Phoebe's teeth closer? A pearl necklace? A magnifying glass? Or in a shower? Exactly, into a magnifying glass. Wonderful. Here they are, ready to eat your teeth, Phoebe. <laughs> Goodbye, little monsters. Bye! All right, good job, kids. You're done with them. Now your teeth are fresh, healthy, and clean.